What's up family and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Crystal aka Curly Chris and in today's video we are doing a style y'all. We are pulling out all the works because today we are doing this cute style and I'm showing you guys from start to finish how I got this look. I absolutely love this look. And in today's video we're getting into all those details but if you have not subscribed already go ahead and join the Curly Chris family by hitting the subscribe button down below. We're a family on this channel because we support each other. I provide y'all with some bomb content. Y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Show me so much love. Repost, share, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff like that okay so let's go ahead and jump right into what products we are using for this tutorial and just the whole shebang so today's video will be sponsored by Allocate Naturals. So shout out to you guys for sponsoring today's video and for sending your girl hooking me up with these bomb products that I use today. Um, so we are going to be going through from the start to the finish of this routine. So I'm going to be explaining all the products while I go. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And Allocate Naturals is coming to your local CVS. So girl, let's go ahead and get into all these details so you can go and pick yours up. So this is the pack that I got from Allocate Naturals and it has all of the products in it. Super cute. First, we're going to go in with the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner, which I was most excited about because I've heard so many good things about it. And just look at that consistency, y'all. It had lots and lots of slip. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of that and just start applying it to my strands. And y'all, the amount of slip on this product was ridiculous. And it really did a great job with just moisturizing my hair. And and just really provided me with all that slip that I needed at this moment because this deep conditioner really did a great job and it, I did not even have to use too much even though I am very heavy handed but you guys can just already see how defined my curls are becoming as soon as I apply this product to my hair and it just has so much slip and just applied so so easily so I most definitely was loving this deep conditioner. So this clip was actually one of my favorites because you can really just see how defined my hair was by putting this deep conditioner in. And also you got a great definition shot of my hair. So overall, I really do give this deep conditioner a 10 out of 10. I left this in my hair for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I went ahead and rinsed it out with some warm water. So let's go ahead and rinse this bad boy out and then you guys can see just what my hair looks like freshly rinsed with absolutely no product in it so beautiful i love this deep conditioner so let's go ahead and get to all right y'all so let's get to the styling part so today's style we're going to be doing a three band two i think i'm gonna do like three band two knots in the front with some accessories on them and then the back we're gonna have a braid out okay now look at how long my hair then got and everything like like in here like a girl like one one of my pieces is below my boob like down here and I stretched that thing and I was like what so let's go ahead and get started with this so first up we're gonna go in with the lemongrass leave and conditioner and we're just gonna spray that on the entire section just like the directions say and then I'm gonna make sure to really get my ends because y'all know how I love for my ends to be super moisturized it's like a key factor in my regimen if your ends are not moisturized then since you have to make sure that they are because that's where that's how your hair retains its length and this deep this leave-in conditioner really did allow me to have a lot of definition as well so then i'm going to go in with the detangler and guys i'm just going to let y'all hear this clip because i was not expecting my hair to be that detangled tangle oh wow that may have actually worked really good because i didn't even have to pull apart that much just now okay wait y'all look at this wow knots be gone <laughs> literally like not a tangle yeah that was okay that actually worked really well so then I'm going to go in with the hair moisturizer, the Shea Yogurt, and y'all I y'all know how I feel about, about my butters, okay? We are, we are one. So I rubbed it in my hand first to make sure that it 
dissolves completely into like a nice shiny pomade and then i applied it to the ends as well make sure your ends are moisturized and then i followed up with the glazed argan oil i was also sent the 70 Centra 17 hair oil but i applied that to my scalp later on you guys can just see how much goodness is in this bottle so we're going to apply this throughout the entire section of hair and then we're going to go ahead and begin to braid and you guys have seen me do my hair a lot with braid out so i didn't really show all the steps for this braid out i kind of just skipped towards the end but um i just follow the exact same steps as we all do whenever we do a braid out detangle your hair thoroughly start at the root braid all the way down to the tip and then curl around the ends of your hair and then I'm moving on to the next section and guys my fingers are just running through my hair and I have not even detangled this section. That detangler not to be going is literally the truth. I was so shocked by it. So I'm going to just go ahead and just braid this entire section as we, as I always do like I was saying earlier. And then I'm going to move, move on to the bantu knot section in the front. So I'm going to split my hair into three sections. So three even sections with the middle section being the largest one. And then I'm going to apply the product. I'm going to apply the detangler to that section. And also the Shea Yogurt Moisturizer to that section. Just so my hair is not dry while it's being in this style. Even though it's not really part of like the, the ends aren't being out. I still want to make sure that my hair is moisturized. Because you know. You got to have moisture in your hair, right? So then I'm going to just detangle it and then start with the bantu knot and then just wrap it around um, until it forms a nice chunky bantu knot. And I just tuck my ends underneath the knot. Nothing too fancy or anything. I don't use bobby pins, but you most definitely can. So this is what it's looking like for those two. And then this is what all three of them are looking like. I went ahead and slayed my edges as well, sis. So let's go ahead and let that dry. And here I am the next day. And now I'm just applying some of that argan oil to the braids. And I'm going to go ahead and just take them out just like we would with any other twist out, I mean, any other braid out. And whenever you're doing your braid outs, if you detangle your hair well, you should be able to pull your hair apart. Um, and that's a quicker way to unravel your braids, basically. And the definition is looking really, really good. So easy to unravel. Extremely, extremely shiny. And yeah, I'm just like loving how this is looking so far. Let's look at, just look at this shot. I just love this shot as well. Because you can really just see how bomb these braids are looking. Like once I took them out. Super defined. So now I'm just going to go in and, un and separate them. Um, just to get a little bit more volume. And you guys, make sure when you're separating, you're taking your time. Because you don't want to get too much frizz. Um, some frizz is good, but you don't want too much to where your whole style is ruined. So you took all that precious time to put them braids in. So make sure you take some more time to unravel them the right way and with patience. So you can get a bomb style in the end. So this is what that one section is looking like after I went ahead and took those braids out. So it's looking really, really good. Very, very bouncy and fluffy like my hair looks good and i was like okay yeah let's let's go ahead and pick so now i'm going to pick at the root to get a little bit more volume and yeah just make sure that you're picking at the root you don't want to go all the way throughout the hairstyle because you most definitely don't want to mess up the definition that you got from the style so now i'm going to go in with some gold accessory and i'm just wrapping that around the bantu knot to give my hair a little bit more accessory and i just picked up this um this right here from my local beauty supply store so it was like two dollars not expensive at all and i'm just wrapping that around the bantu knot and this is what the final result is looking like y'all i thought this was super super cute i love how the gold just like basically spiced it up a little bit and yeah this was like really cute to me and i think that the braid out part came out really well as really good as well because it's extremely shiny very defined so i'm going to let you guys just look at this a little bit more and then i'm going to talk about all the products and everything in greater detail in my full review of the entire line girl i love 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 it and let's just talk about these products a little bit um so for deep conditioning you guys know i use 
the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner, which I love. Oh my gosh, it really did a great job of providing moisture to my hair and even defining my hair as you guys, as you guys saw in the beginning of this clip. So I most definitely love this. I wish I had more of it because it is really, really bomb. Next, we use the Lemongrass Leave-In and the um, Not To Be Gone Detangler. And these two work so, so well together. This one would provide me moisture for a leave-in and a good base. And this one would detangling the crap out of my hair. Like... Y'all saw just how easy to tangle my hair was once I applied this product. So I would most definitely be using this even with other products the other time I styled my hair because this really did a great job with detangling my hair for real. Then next we're going to go with the hair moisturizer. You guys know how I feel about butters and for a certain reason y'all know how, I love, how much I love butters and this is why. Like it was so moisturizing, just melted into my hands so so easily while providing so much shine like the shine was crazy so I most definitely love this product we'll be using it for a twist out or something like that because you guys know I rave about butters and I'm always looking for a good moisturizer so love this and also the glazed argan oil was the last product we used as a sealant and also um, when we took the hair down and this product was bomb as well. Like, I love oils and mixing the oils with my butters to provide me like that real shine and to lock in the moisture. So the butter uh, provides the moisture and the oil seals and locks in that moisture from my hair. And I find that a lot of people have also benefited from that. So I love this oil. Um, the only oil that we did not use was the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. And I'm just going to use this to apply to my scalp um, like tonight and just massage that in all the way. And it has a nice nozzle tip on it. So it's very easy to apply to your scalp, directly to your scalp. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love all these products. Like I have really don't have any complaints honestly um so thank you so much for watching this video and my results are so fluffy and just voluminous like i am in love so thank you so much to everyone for watching today's video and shout out to allocate for sponsoring today's video you guys are the goat i truly do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next one but while you're here while you're here one make sure you subscribe and two make sure you click on the next video like I put them right here for you. They right here, sis. Like, go ahead and click on the next video. <laughs>